All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of watches from Tsao Watch Company. This company is out of Maryland, out of the Baltimore area, and guys, they are really into the rich history of that part of the country. Uh, all of their watches are named after naval history in from the Baltimore area. These two versions here are the Constellation. They're named after the last U.S. sail only a warship that was designed and built in 1853. It's still part of the historic ships there in uh, Baltimore Harbor. So really cool company. I got the pleasure of meeting Alan Sow last year at the LA Microlux and he was a really, really nice true down to earth guy. So let's talk about these watches. Now I have two models here. These are prototype watches guys. I'll let you know that right off. These watches are currently on pre-order at the website. I'll leave a link down below where you can get into these watches, but let's go ahead and talk about them. Now we have two models here. This is the sea green model. This is the reverse panda. So I'm going to set the sea green one down here for just a second and we're going to talk specs here with the um, reverse panda. Now it's a really, really nice chronograph style watch, the Constellation is. Love the case design, the case style, and I love all the materials they've used on this watch. You've got a 40 millimeter case from side to side on this watch, not including the pushers of the crown, 48 lug to lug, comes in at 15 millimeters of thickness, like most chronographs do, they've got pretty thick watches, and you have a 20 millimeter lug opening if you do decide to do strap changes. Really cool thing about these bracelets on these watches, I'll show you here in a minute as we get into the watch. Now I'm going to bring it up here a little bit closer so you guys can take a closer look at the dial on the watch. This is actually a step dial, it's a little bit hard to see because of the reflection off of the sapphire crystal, yeah you're picking up every light I have in the room, has to do with that black dial and that sapphire crystal, but this is actually a step dial. So. You've got the raised portion is all the black. It steps down to the two reverse panda dials and it's also stepped down around the outside on the tack meter. This is running the Seiko VK64 quartz movement or mecha quartz movement, I should call it. So it's got a gear train involved to run the chronograph movement. So it reacts and acts quite much like a automatic or a mechanical chronograph. Go ahead and get that stopped and we'll reset it. You guys can see it snap back like that. Really nice setup. Clean stick hands on this watch. You have a 24 hour dial over here at the three o'clock position. You can keep track up to 60 minutes over here on your nine o'clock sub dial. Date window down here just below uh, or above six o'clock. Uh, you guys can see the logo on the watch. Very nicely done. I like the Sal logo. It's not applied, it is painted on there. And then down below just above six o'clock, you have your constellation and your 660 feet or 200 meters. So nice thing about this, it is a chronograph watch but it's a 200 meter diver. So they do call the Constellation a chronograph diver. You have 120 click bezel on this watch. And as you guys can see, it's kind of set up in a GMT fashion. Uh, you got the, the one through 12 on the dial. Now, I don't know that you're gonna use this as a, as a GMT watch, but that's the way it's set up. You can still use it for diving because it's gonna keep track of your minutes for diving or anything like that. Uh, sapphire bezel insert is being used. Everything on this watch is loomed, so stick around to the end for the loom shot. Sapphire crystal, of course, being used on top, AR coating, but as you guys can see with the black, the AR coating doesn't work too, too good. The bracelet is very, very nicely done, and as you guys can see, I'll show you right here, you have a glide lock feature, or a glide lock style feature, I should call it. Um, two button clasp assembly, nice scissor style clasps inside, all solid. Taking a look at the case back, you've got a really cool logo engraved there on the case back. Gives you all of the information about the watch. And that's the one thing I wanted to point out to you guys. Solid in-links, but did you guys notice this has quick release spring bars? How cool is that on a bracelet? I think it's a really neat addition to a bracelet. It makes life a lot easier to pull this on and off. And you can see it's a double-sided, so you can actually just pinch those together and pull the bracelet off the watch. The watches are all gonna come on a bracelet, but you will get the uh, the strap here that comes on the Seafoam green one or that they have on the Seafoam green one. Show you that, it's a sailcloth style strap. So you're gonna get the bracelet for the watch. You're also gonna get the sailcloth strap. Now I know at the website they're limiting these to 200 pieces. I'm sure that's overall. I don't think that's in each colorway because they have a number of different colorways. They have a standard panda, the reverse panda, they have the Seafoam or the sea green, and there's a couple of other different versions so check them out at the website really really nice looking watches i like the sailcloth strap and because we have this one off of the bracelet it's a little bit easier to see that logo on the case back very very nicely done really cool looking setup so um just a good looking watch overall guys let's go ahead and pause it get these watch on my seven inch wrist and then we'll go out the loom shot and we'll put on the bracelet version first. This on my seven inch wrist looks really good. I didn't point out too much about the polishing on the watch, but the polishing is done really well. The brushing along the side of the case is extremely nice. And you have this clean shine or polished beveled edge along the side that looks really, really good. So this is the bracelet 
watch. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Then I'll go ahead and put the uh, sea green one on so you guys can see what that um, sailcloth strap looks like. Sailcloth is super comfortable and it, and it fits me. I can make it fit me, but it looks really good. I actually like the way it looks on the sailcloth, I think a little bit better. I, I think it makes the case look really nice. Looks really, really nice on my seven inch wrist. So show you guys real quick the case work, the case polishing before I go to the loom shot. But you can see the cutaway at the bottom of the case here with these lines cut into it. I think that's a real, real neat addition to the case. Definitely unique. Polished all the way along this beveled edge up underneath the bezel. Show you guys the sign crown and the pushers also has that little ribbed area just along the bottom of the case. So really nice, nice looking watches. So let's kill the lights and check out the loom on these watches. Well, they are using C3 Super Luminova on here and I think you guys can already see these watches glowing, but we'll go ahead and hit them with the light just so you can have the light show. Really, really nice the way they did the loom on these watches. And like I said, these are prototypes. So the fact that they glow this much is really, really pretty impressive. So. There you guys go, the Sao Constellation, the Chronographs. These are really, really nice watches, really reasonably priced also. These will be retailing for 350 US dollars, um, and you're supporting a company that, uh, that builds their watches, designs and assembles them all in the United States. So eventually, Allen does wanna become a full US manufacturer and do everything in-house there in Maryland in Baltimore. So really good looking watches. Guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.